Welcome to the weekly. I was not going to uh, actually do a video blog this week. Uh, I shared with you yesterday, it would have been published yesterday, I shared with you yesterday my time at the pottery here at St. John's Abbey in the great state of Minnesota, and I was just going to leave it at that. But today, uh, Sunday, uh, it's a beautiful day, and I've been given time to just wander the property, and so I thought I had to do a video blog about this. The wind is picking up here. Uh, this is the lake. St. John's Abbey doesn't own the lake. The state owns the lake, but they own all of the surrounding property that goes around this lake. It's a huge campus, and it's an amazing monastery. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. The wind is really picking up, so I'm just going to that I'm walking on, uh, which is going to lead up to a small chapel, and I'm going to show you that when I get there, whatever that is, probably another 10 minutes. So I just wanted to do a quick intro to St. John's Abbey. Uh, the experience at the pottery yesterday was simply amazing, and hopefully that's going to stir up within me uh, the chance to create some pottery. Was inspiring and it was actually Richard there who runs the pottery is so deep within that art form and I learned a lot from him and I'm very grateful for the chance to tour the pottery and then to have a chance to have a little tea ceremony with him and his friends uh, so I'm gonna walk up to this chapel I'm gonna show you that but I just had to share with you uh, where I have been this weekend. This uh, St. John's Abbey is so full uh, of art and uh, the enculturation of art within the practice of uh, monastic life. And there's so much on this property that uh, promotes how art and spirituality merge together, and I'm going to show you that in this chapel when I get there. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So I'm back here just to show you. I just was talking about the integration of art, and spirituality is not the right term that I'm thinking of, but art within life itself, and how art can be a medium for us to go deeper within ourselves, uh, to help us meditate, and also to help us uh, bring ourselves out of our, be our very being so that we can share ourselves with others. And here is an example of how this campus, how this monastery is designed. Everywhere you go, there's a little niche of something a piece of art, something really well thought out in the middle of nowhere so that you encounter that and you get regrounded in your day, take a moment, and then move on down the trail. It's like that everywhere on this campus, whether you're outside or whether you're inside the buildings themselves. There are nooks and crannies of places to pause, to meditate, and then to move on with your day. And as so many of you know, I'm a big promoter of meditation, and this property just exudes that feeling uh, because of the integration of the artwork that's on the property itself. So again, I'm heading down to uh, that chapel and look right here. Here is another example of a space that is well thought out, artistically executed. An artist did this, a craftsman did this, and it's just right here on this lake. Can I capture the view? There you go, right there. Look at this little cool sitting space right here along the waters. Uh, really well thought out and executed. 
it's like this everywhere on this campus. So again, I'm heading to that chapel. I think I'm going to get there oh, it's across the river. I have a ways to go. So hopefully I'll see you uh, when I get there, unless I run into more amazing spaces like this, and I'll show you those spaces. So I'll see you in a minute. So here we are again. This walk is taking longer than I thought, but I, we're running again into something that I want to share with you another space really well thought out uh, meditative in its own very way i just love how they laid these uh, stumps into the ground to create this path uh, onto this bridge which is going to connect us uh, hopefully uh, to the chapel it's the, the walk is taking longer than i thought but i just wanted to show you another example of this, of a meditative space on the lake here at St. John's. I don't know if you can hear the water. It's just pretty amazing. And uh, so I was at another abbey uh, a few weeks ago. It was the first monastery I was ever in, St. Vincent's Arch Abbey in La Trobe, Pennsylvania. They are the founders of this monastery here, uh, which is uh, the second largest monastery in the country. Uh, St. Vincent's Arch Abbey is now the largest with uh, I don't, not quite 200 monks. Uh, this monastery has maybe 100 at this point. And uh, so this is uh, a, a, a founda uh, founded from uh, St. Vincent's itself. And uh, I'm so glad I've been able to come here and uh, spend time in the monastery and uh, spend time on their property here. So I'm still on my way to the chapel. It's just around the bend there. And when I get there, unless I see something incredible again, uh, I'll show you that chapel. We are almost at the chapel. Uh, it's actually right down the path here. But I'm taking a break just to see. Let's see if I can see. There you go. Across the lake there is the monastery. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Not much. That's how big the monastery is. It's, it's Goliath. That's the monastery and the church of St. John's Abbey. Across the lake. I just wanted to give you that view, and now we are going to work ourselves to the chapel, and I'll be right back. And here we are at the Stellis Martin Chapel, uh, built in 1915 and renovated in, let me take down my zoom here, renovated in, uh, within recent years. Uh, again, a beautiful example of art employed to create a meditative space. Look at that window. One of the oldest structures on the property itself. Let me just give you a shot of the ceiling. Just beautiful chapel, and I'll try to do a, kind of a walk around outside. So this is an example of art bringing ourselves out of each other. So let's exit this amazing chapel so you can just get a glimpse of what it is like uh, on the outside. So that's it with the weekly. 
I will catch you next week. Until then, stay creative, and I'll just give you a, a couple more views of this chapel while we close out for the week.